Yo, how are we doing everybody? So today I'm doing a guide on the boss fight versus the Knight Nexus. So as far as counters go, you don't really need to worry about anything. Uh, well, I would suggest looking out for buffs and status ailments. I wouldn't really use Bard, Oracle, or the Pictomancer because of those counters. They're just a bit more powerful than the other ones. Physical and magical counters, you don't need to worry about that. The counters for those attacks are basically just a physical attack. It doesn't do too much damage. It doesn't have any unique properties. So yeah, nothing to worry about there. As far as my loadout, I'm going to be using the Thief, Black Mage, Shield Master, and Spirit Master. You can probably see that I have extra abilities on the Spirit Master and the Thief here, as I've gotten them both up to level 15. If you'd like to see guides on how to access that, I will put a playlist down in the description below, and that is where you'll be able to see every single boss for this entire game, including the secret or optional ones. Uh, focusing back on this fight itself, essentially what my strategy is, is I want to try to keep my spirits up on the Spirit Master at all times. Basically, I want to constantly be pumping out extra uh, BP, extra brave points for my team. I want to continuously bring them back to life with the Lifebringer Spirit, that's something I can use. Um, if you don't have level 15 yet, you can definitely just use Regeneration and Re-Raise, that'll also help. But the level 15 Spirit Master is obviously much stronger. Now, the boss here has this Inflame ability, which will cause Berserk. And yeah, you don't want to deal with that. If you use the Peace Ring, you will no longer be inflicted or afflicted with uh, the Berserk there. And also the Vaccine can help with Contagion, which is another status ailment the boss likes to throw out on you. Uh, seeing as my primary strategy here, uh, defensively is using the shield master to protect their allies. I need to actually keep that berserk off. If you have berserk on your shield master, they will not defend even when you've told them to or even when your teammates are at low HP. So do make sure that you're curing that. Um, I have comeback kid, which is another way to cure status ailments there on Adele. So she'll be able to come out of that just fine. If you don't have that, you can also use the item remedy which you can just buy at any shop. Just a random item. I would highly suggest stocking up on that, personally. And yeah, as you can see here, uh, my people are at low health, but still able to protect them. And then Calamity Calls there isn't too damaging, but that is the ability that inflicts contagion, so do be aware of that. Uh, this boss fight can be really tough on your MP. And then yeah, World Ender should be more <laughs> damaging, but my characters are also strong right now. I think I'm at like the level 55, level 56 range. And yeah, this boss fight has a lot of phases, which can definitely throw you off. And uh, depending on the phases, like sometimes it like resets the fight. So you'll be back at like zero BP. And then other times it's just a straight continuation. It really differs between the phases. Either way, I just highly suggest making sure that you stay on top of your MP whenever the boss is getting low in health. And then yeah, once you start to get the boss really low, they will spawn these two hands. And the two hands have a pretty powerful ability, I believe it's called Expulsion. And what Expulsion does is it'll target one of your party members and it will just take them out of the fight. They are expelled, they don't get to do anything, they basically don't exist. And yeah, you can see that like right now I don't have Adele there. And yeah, he can actually do this to multiple party members. He can expel, uh, like say, both your most uh, damage dealing character and your tank and you can be in a huge spot of trouble so just to make sure that your team is pretty well rounded that your characters are able to stand on their own for a little bit so yeah I highly suggest getting rid of those hands as fast as possible they're nowhere near as tanky as the boss itself while they have quite a bit of HP their defenses aren't very high and yeah after a few turns your characters will come back so yeah you just need to stay in there for a little bit um the hands though, while they uh, they also have different resistances, I should point that out. Like, um, I believe the left hand is weak to wind, the right hand is weak to fire. So yeah, try to take advantage of that, though obviously you can see that using the uh, magnifying glass. And yeah, right here, 
My Spirit Master is basically doing most of the fight for me, making sure that everything's okay. Like, the great thing about having the Legendary Spirit Master is even if they get expelled, the spirits are still there. So I basically can't lose the game. So, again, I highly suggest having the level 15 Spirit Master. And then, uh, yeah, my main my main damage dealing is just going to be Godspeed Strike. I'm trying to stay on top of the Aethers. Though, yeah, you do need to be wary. You can be countered when you're using these physical attacks. For me, I try to keep my uh, teammates at low HP so that Glory will protect against the counters. Though, occasionally, I find myself outside of the HP range I want to be. And then, yeah, right here, the hands can come back to life. So, you want to make sure that you have good damage dealing abilities and you're doing that damage as fast as you can because yeah you don't want the fight to drag on you don't want those hands respawning is this boss yeah using salvation there it can heal itself and the ruin also just gets rid of your mp this boss is very very tough on resources but uh yeah that's gonna be this fight if you have any questions at all please let me know in the comments down below uh, this isn't exactly how the fight ends, but I don't want any spoilers so that you guys are able to enjoy the story um, exactly as the game presents it. But yeah, that's going to be me. Peace.